Back in 1999, we created one of the first film quality digital clones, proving that computer graphics can be used to reenact people even after their death. Later, we developed temporal disk controllers, the core technology behind the virtual human interface, to design and mix head shapes, create facial expressions, and track an actor's facial movements, eventually allowing us to map a single camera view onto a dynamic, morphable model. Much of that is still in use today, but there is very strong competition from AI. When it comes to virtual humans, today both CGI and AI can clearly deliver. But generative AI has the advantage of being more cost effective. So what is the future? Diffusion models have the potential to become the one-stop solution for all. As an example, we may use them for character design to simply reimagine a person from multiple consistent angles, expressions, poses, hairstyles, or even outfits. And that takes us back to why old actors never die. They just get digitized. Maria Callas was an American Greek soprano born a hundred years ago. She was one of the most renowned and influential opera singers of the 20th century. To bring her back to life, we collected 50 plus low resolution photos from the internet, improved picture quality by reimagining her face in 2K, created 3D models via an AI face reconstruction pipeline, and eventually generated novel views in stable diffusion all in a matter of a few days. We also captured and virtually reconstructed the same opera house in Budapest, where Angelina Jolie recently filmed a part of her new role about the life of the world-famous opera singer. To achieve this, we deployed 360-degree XR cameras and drones to scan the interior and the exterior of the landmark building and subsequently reconstructed them using neural radiance fields, as well as 3D Gaussian splatting techniques. The main purpose of our work was to showcase how virtual productions may benefit from a new generation of synthetic humans for next-gen storytelling. In our case, we use a digital stand-in, which is also a rigged and animated 3D Gaussian splat representation of a person whose image will be replaced with stable diffusion generated render layers. The 3D reconstructed face models can also be directly applied, even in real-time applications, using the classical library. I believe we are entering a new era where 3D modeling for XR, film, and special effects will become obsolete, being replaced by neural rendering and diffusion models. The models and assets are publicly available for art projects and creative industry partners upon request.